Friends, as we, as we have discussed previously, I have been watching the very, very trashy 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days. Tonight's episode was so good. Remember the troll that I told you about with no neck? Um, the gross little guy who lied about everything. He lied about his height and he lied about all these things. And then he asked his girlfriend to take an STD test even though he wasn't gonna take one. Well, he, she wants to have more kids. She stuck by him through all his madness, which I personally don't understand, but do you, girl? So she wants to have more kids. And so tonight he finally was like, yeah, um, by the way, I plan to get a vasectomy. I don't want any more kids, but I love you and I want you. This girl, you could tell, you could just from the look on her face, there was a record scratch in her head. Like, eh, wait, what? She's like, I'm sorry. Um, I'm poor. I live in a third world country. I sleep on the floor in a house full of rats. But um, I'm too good for you. I was cheering. Go, Rose, go. She has nothing. She could come to America, dump him, and do whatever. But she was like, mm, no. So points for Rose for getting her entire life together and dropping that loser. And now that this show has aired, I'm sure every second dude who wants to have kids in America is like, hey girl, come on over Rose. I'll give you a bed to sleep in and I have a neck. So I just had to update. There was lots of other madness and shenanigans going on, but I had to report back about the troll and the lovely Princess Rose. She's actually not that attractive and her breath smells like a garbage heap apparently, but still, she's too good for his behind. All right, have a great safe day. Bye.